And Gonzaga stopped the Aggies' five-game win streak last night. Big strikeout, Asa Lacy. Uh, he certainly swung the bat well yesterday and, and started off real well right there. And he may have just left the yard to start Saturday. That's the third time this year he's hit a leadoff home run. Well, he's only got four home runs. That's They're all good. solo, yeah. and three of them to lead off. He jumped that ball, and that ball got off his bat quick. And, uh, it was a nice stroke. He finds the gap in between short and third, and Braden Shoemake will come around to make it two to nothing. I said this before, if you get a chance uh, when a ball is hit, instead of watching the ball, watch Braden Shoemake run the bases and make the turns. He has got outstanding speed, and he can flat make a turn. He doesn't loop it way out there and take a lot of extra steps. He gets a 90 degrees turn pretty quick. That's caught by Hunter Coleman, and they double off Troy Johnston. And he's ripped the ball to center. Hunter Coleman will wait for it to land and then come on home. That's well to left. And that ball is gone. Cleared the scoreboard and one hop the rec center behind left. Well, that wasn't wind aided. He just drive, drove the ball, got it good, got the right elevation on it, and it went high and far. Condal's going to come around third on the base hit by Blom. Play at the plate, but the throw was offline. He faces Braden Shoemake, who's the ninth Aggie to come to the plate this inning, and he's going to register the eighth hit of the frame. The Ags are rolling offensively, and they're going to try to get two runs out of this. They will. Crush to left. That got out, and he'll clear them all. I told you he wanted all three of those. Well hits. Maggie's trying to get two to end the game, and they've got it. 